My dear compatriots, especially Ghanaians in the diaspora in the New York Tri-State area, I bring you warm greetings from His Excellency Nana Dodankwa Akufuado, President of the Republic of Ghana. This is an auspicious occasion of Ghana's 62nd independence anniversary, and it is my honor to share these few words with you. As you all know, independence anniversary celebrations are a time when we contemplate the fortunes of our country. It is a time when we look back at the sacrifices that our forebears put, they put their lives down for our country. But more importantly, whilst we celebrate them, we also look at how we ourselves are contributing to national development. What are we doing as individuals to advance the goals of our nation? And I call on all of us to do this exercise in earnest because it is important. We all have a stake in Ghana and we can all make a worthy contribution to its advancement. For this year, His Excellency the President has chosen the theme, Peace and Unity, because these are sacrosanct. Without peace and unity, we cannot advance on our socioeconomic development. Ghana has every reason to celebrate peace and unity also. We recall that on 18 January this year, we had the fortune, the good fortune and the pleasure of seeing a new overlord of Dagon traditional area installed, Yana Abubakari II. We congratulate all the people of Dagon and we wish them well. This is indeed an achievement that we should celebrate. And it goes to show that Ghana is in the business of peace building, peace building that will ensure that all our people can live in peace and security. We also had, um, in the past year, the creation of six new regions in Ghana. And this, um, I believe, will make all of us revisit our geography books and the map of Ghana and see where the new regional borders are located. We wish the new regional ministers uh, all the best in building the bases, the building blocks for their regions. We know that they have what it takes to make the whole exercise a success. By the creation of the six new regions, it is the intention of government to open up the country and let development reach every corner of the nation. In September 2018, the President of the Republic of Ghana, while on a visit to the United States and addressing the Congressional Black Caucus, declared 2019 as a year of return. This is a very significant development for all of us. This year would mark the 400 year of the first 20 slaves that arrived um, from West Africa on the, in Virginia, which is, was later to become the United States of America. Now, the celebration is to bring back home Africans in the diaspora and also to explore further our cultural links and the tourist potential that Ghana has. We urge all of you, particularly our brothers and sisters in the diaspora, to take advantage of this year of return and visit Ghana. There is so much to see and so much to do and to connect with your kith and kin back home. This year, Ghana is poised to be the fastest growing economy in the world. This is significant and we must all take pride in our country. We must all work to ensure that this growth will be translated into real gains for every Ghanaian, be they abroad, be they back home. It is for us to work hard together for peace and unity. So let us unite under the banner of our flag and let us say are you cool to ourselves and then hope and work hard to do better. And so to end my brief statement, my brief message, I want to wish all Ghanaians very well uh, in the coming year. 
uh, let us continue to pray for our president, His Excellency Nana Kufuado, and his entire government. Let us pray for government officials, the judiciary, parliamentarians, so that together they will lead our nation to success. May God bless Ghana and make her great and strong. Thank you and happy anniversary. Yeah,